Last time on Fallout New Vegas, we got rid of the ghouls and Repcon test side. Now headed back to Nova to see Manny Vargas and continue our hunt for the man in chicken suit, as well as his great con friends. Of course, due to limitations, I have enabled all map markers to fully tell the story of the NCR in the Mojave and at Hoover Dam. We head out and look for a pile of ash. Or as Axelrod would say, tap that ash. We continue to hunt around and look for the proper exit, as there is no map. I find a railing to the front desk and jump out. We head out the double doors and into the courtyard. Wow. This place could really use a janitor. As we fast travel to Novak, we immediately see the dinosaur. We cycle through our weapons to see what we have to play with. I do love toys that go bang. We head up the stairs and through a door. It of course being night time, we know that we will not find Manny Vargas. We will find Boone. But he is not the man we are looking for. So we have through a door. Wait for 12 hours. I wish I had a bed. Here we find you have any luck many with the ghouls? Vargas. I'm counting on you. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. How about the man I'm looking okay. for? I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. That's all I needed to know. I hope that helps. I owed you. So we head towards Boulder City. We see a campfire off in the distance. Turns out it's We've got a trash. situation with some great cons right now. The brass at McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the Great Cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Maybe I can negotiate a deal. Normally, I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Don't worry about me. Good luck. Make sure to we'll check our skills actually. 
realize our speech skill isn't what it needs to be. Oh well. That's why I have a gun. We hear the mysterious part of the fourth warm hangum. What the hell? You know that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Well, I'm not. Yeah, uh, about that. Where's the platinum Don't chip? Have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now, laughing at me. Let's talk about settling things. Negotiate. The NCR backs off. We walk out of here. Nobody gets hurt. Free the hostages. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. It's not where a lighter goes. Yeah. We leveled up. So we're gonna put five in lock picking, and we're gonna put the rest of the ten in speech. And we're gonna take the swift learner perk, which allows us to grow experience points a lot faster. Dead for sure. You should be dead. You got caught off guard and rushed in like an idiot. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. Great Cons, let the hostages go. For their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders. Can I? If you have any integrity, you'll Good. honor the deal. The great cons are free to go. When we finish up here with the NCR, we head off towards these lovely buildings. There's some railroad tracks, an abandoned building. It appears to be some kind of grain silo. And of course, we see our friend Victor stalking you here, us. Friend. You see Benny come this way? Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Good to see you yeah. again. If this is getting mighty embarrassing, people gonna start to talk. <laughs> Goodbye. Look. We find a bleached skeleton with a hunting rifle and some 308 ammo. Looks like he was going hunting. Poor guy. This is a prime area for random vicious dogs to attack at. We start the quest, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding. drink Sinatra, be damned. And we spot the two vicious dogs. But, 
And not much for a 4570 bullet. It just cuts them through like their hot cheese. Mmm. Cheese. Off in the distance, we see a mound. Well, my sniper character, I normally climb to the top to see if I can find uh, enemies. We look around through our own sights and spot nothing. Ezekiel. That's a nice religious name. And it appears we found the 188 trading post. Wish the followers would get me some better armor. Wish the followers would get me some better armor. Looks like he's got shit. And here we are at the 188 trading post. Welcome to the 188 slop and sh I'd like to Have see the sale. Doesn't look like she got anything of use. No decent ammunition. No decent weapons, no real aid items. So, we ditch her. No offense, ah, but you look companion. like you traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? A grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, pretty. given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, so if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. You just left your family? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? We pass an intelligence check to say well, they that usually be a for are me. harmless. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, Unless you so have where are you check. headed anyway? Uh, just drifting. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really <coughs> handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I know, I know, but I had used to Actually, I'm more comfortable now that I know you've had I'm great a Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Wow, kinky. And we head off. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we... You're I want your sunglasses. There's a suitcase down there. Ah, damn it, it's empty. Who keeps an empty suitcase? Hello. Lazy. Try not to make any trouble. We like you quiet around here. No wonder the Legion's kicking your ass. You a merc? Cause you don't look like a prospector. No, I'm a prostitute. Hell yes, sir. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year. 
Administrative discharge. It means my CO was an asshole and I told him to eat shit. He ordered me to flog a couple deserters. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. It's more training than I got. Sure. She also doesn't have a lot of supplies. She's got some anti material parts, but all they do is reduce the weight. What a waste. I would normally kill her if this was my evil Fallout 4 character. She does sell three different service rifles with minor differences in traditions. I don't see anything else, so we're going to keep heading down the road for a very short distance. Because we're immediately going to fast travel to the Freeside East Gate. We have something we need to pick up. Oh look, Dean Domino. Uh, Mick and Rouse. We'll find no greater source of scum and oh. villainy. Come on. You like that? And immediately two people will want to start a fight. So we drop them. That's enough of that. Well, that's the end of that. It's nice traveling with Veronica. Whereas I prefer long range attacks, Veronica likes to get up and close and personal. I admire that. We spot two kids playing. We'll talk to them later. Or at least one of them. Hello. If you're looking Ralph. for guns, talk. We have in stock. Let's sell him some stuff. He's dirt poor, anyways. There we go. He didn't have enough to buy our dynamite. And since this isn't my explosive Give me a shout character, if you need else. there's no point in selling him dynamite. But I also don't want to Welcome keep Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. For general... Mick here sells the weapons. But he didn't have a lot this early on. I mean, after all, my character is only level 8. But he does have some nice gun runners weapons. Including a nuke breaker. Which is just a sign you hit people in the head with. Isn't that how Bill Cosby got around? Give me a shout if you need anything else. Hey, what can I get you? You offer I only any offer other services. services? If the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. A resourceful fellow like yourself? Alright. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, huh? Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. No, see what you want hey, to if keep you're interested in the caps, they go for 500. Any less, and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? Okay, I'll take one. There you go. That clears that up. Thanks. 
and we leveled up. So we're now at level 90. We put 5 in lockpicking and 10 in speech. We see two kids running around like idiots. We'll go and talk to one of them, but for the most part, this is the end of the beginning of Freeside. For we'll the tell sky, more mister. of their story later. Right now, he's got a cool toy pistol. Sorry, but I need to shoot Stacy. We can find you another gun. Sick out. Get a this bag again. is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. Where did you even get well, a million caps? If you can get me most of it, I could give you a loan for the rest. I don't really like to go to bed. We could take the gun from the kid, but we won't. Let's use the starter pack. So that's the story of Freeside. Hope you guys enjoyed that lovely story. I apologize for the background noise. That would be my father and my niece. We will have a live stream today at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time. Also, the way the audio is working right now is I am recording within Adobe Premiere and I export it and level it out so it's not all loud or soft in areas. So if it seems like I'm dragging on, it's because I'm actually hearing myself talk while I'm narrating, which is a new experience for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love making these videos. And also, once again, a shout out to at MDOVA1 and at Attack on Yarn. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support for the channel, and I will see you all next time. Also, please go check out the Teespring. Sale ends the 25th, and I'll see you guys next time.